Hi guys, we've been running the new internal AMA series for a little while now, and I thought it'd be a good idea to introduce you to more members of the Aventus senior leadership team who will be hosting future AMA sessions themselves. The idea is for you to get to know the people who are driving Aventus forward. It'll also be to help you understand who does what and make it possible for you to direct specific AMA questions to different team members. In this video, I introduce myself, and in the future videos in this mini series, my senior colleagues will introduce themselves too. So, as you probably know, my name is Alan Vey. I'm the co founder and CEO of uh, Aventus Network. I'm a Forbes 30 under 30 winner, and before moving into blockchain, I worked at Deloitte in the entrepreneurial business department, as well as also working for macro hedge fund Brevin Howard. I then completed my master's degree in artificial intelligence at Imperial College here in London, where I wrote my thesis on blockchain technology, specifically film rights distribution that we did with sort of after BBC, a few other people, um, during which time I co-founded Aventus. That's also where I studied under Professor William Nottenbelt, who's now an advisor and mentor to Aventus, who's actually my thesis supervisor. Uh, Will Nottenbelt is a professor of applied quantitative analysis in the Department of Computing and a director of Imperial College Center for Cryptocurrency Research and Engineering. He's an expert at the World Economic Forum on Blockchain. He's worked with the government here in the UK on many sort of uh, interesting projects. And it's fantastic to have him on board advising us and opening his network up to us. Another great mentor is Danny Masters, who's uh, part of an early equity investor, advisor, sort of personal mentor to uh, the founders of the business. Danny is a uh, Bitcoin pioneer. He's the executive chairman of CoinShares, a company that's accumulated over three billion uh, in assets under management, also in their XBT provider listed products, uh, which have attracted over 40,000 clients. He was director of the world's largest, first fully regulated Bitcoin fund and served as the global head of energy and trading business at Morgan Guarantee Trust Company in New York, which is now JP Morgan Chase. These are mentors that guide me, the Aventus team, the Aventus strategy, all the kind of things that we do alongside sort of many others that it would be too long to get into right now if we listed everybody. Three core parts of our strategy cover commercial operations, technology, product, technology and product, and then general operations. For that, we have a senior leader for each pillar, and you'll meet each one of them individually throughout the Aventus's Meet the Team mini series video, as I said. So, into a couple of questions then. What does Aventus mean to me? I mean, when I, obviously anybody who's kind of finishing up university, you're looking at where you're going to be building your career, what you're looking for in the future. And with this innovation that we've got around blockchain uh, and the new things we can now do that previously couldn't be done. Um, I mean, I did my thesis started in 2015, the year Ethereum launched. So it really was perfect timing to get involved in this sort of transformation of how we deal with value, right? We've seen so many sort of revolutions within the digital space, this being the most recent one. So Aventus is my way of participating in that little bit of uh, how we're gonna change and improve the sort of world of tomorrow. How does your past experience help you in your role? Um, so my past experience, I'd say, obviously being at Brevin Howard Asset Management, um, it was very useful to gain a better understanding of how financial markets work, financial products work, how you value things, how you think about incentives, the economics around sort of trading. Um, that was very valuable. I mean, a lot of that knowledge um, and work went into a lot of the token economic design that we do nowadays and how we structure things. Um, of course, the relationship with coin shares and sort of Danny, Russ and Jean-Marie there has been greatly beneficial to that as well. And especially helping us figure out how you do things sort of properly. When you first start this, you have no idea of sort of regulatory and compliance frameworks and the legals that go about it. So really learning about how you do things properly, how you do things, you know, on the right side of the line um, is very, very valuable there. Um, obviously, we've seen many people in crypto potentially struggle with that, and it's, it's this great sort of uh, backing and network of people we have around us that have allowed us to really make sure that we do things the right way. Where do I see Aventus in the next five to ten years? Well, I think Aventus, the vision for Aventus of where we want to be right is in bringing traditional business onto the blockchain, revolutionizing how we look at that value transfer, this new thing that blockchain has enabled us to do. So within five to 10 years, I'd want to see us with a, a major market share within maybe not necessarily 
DeFi space, although we'll, we'll be participating in that, but real traditional industries adopting and gaining value from blockchain applications. When I'm not working, what I like to do for fun. Um, so in my, in my time outside of work, which as you can imagine has been a bit limited these last years, um, and my favorite things are sort of working out, staying fit and healthy. I find that's important just for your whole life, right? Make sure you keep yourself in top form. Um, and then otherwise just uh, sort of decompressing with friends, going out, getting some drinks, having some fun, having a bit of a laugh. Um, those are the core areas I like to, how I like to chill out. Um, when the AVN reaches 1 billion transactions, how will you celebrate? So in terms of celebrating, I mean, we set various KPIs, right? 1 billion transactions will obviously be a major milestone for us. So sure, we'll celebrate. We'll probably take the team out. We'll have a nice dinner and then night out or just decompress a little bit. Maybe take a long weekend, let everybody unwind a bit and then get straight back on it. We're not stopping at any point in time. These are just immediate goals we set ourselves before we then set better ones. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. Look forward to the mini series on the other people. Thank you. Thank you.